So I've started my diet yesterday actually and what I'm going to do training wise is I'm going to be doing a push pull upper lower um, sort of split throughout the week and today was my first session of the week and it was a push day so let me give you an example as to what I've done today. So right from the off I always start with my delts. So this allows me to get my delts nice and warm, it allows me to get them ready for any kind of pressing motion before I go into my very first heavy press. And my first heavy press today was a low incline Smith machine press. Unfortunately, the gym I trained that didn't have the equipment that I wanted. I sort of, I spoke to them before they did the refurbishment and kind of what they were telling me was one thing. And then unfortunately what they actually ended up getting was another thing. So I had to sort of do my pressing on the Smith machine. It's not the worst exercise in the world, but it's also not ideal for me because I just get shoulder pain, whereas I don't get it on sort of other uh, machines. So the weight's not very heavy on this. I'm still trying to build up. I think my chest is one of my weakest parts of my body. And I've always just struggled to be able to sort of grow my chest, whereas my back, not a problem at all. My legs, no problem at all. But chest, I've always seen really slow progress. So the next exercise is a high incline cable press. And just like all the other exercises that I'm going to do, they are top set, back of set kind of method. I try and keep my volume as low as possible in order to maximize recovery, because especially when you're in a deficit and obviously not eating as much, you have to make sure that you can recover properly in order to push the muscle again, in order to maintain some of the muscle that you have. So the next exercise is a shoulder press. And to be honest with you, generally, I don't tend to do shoulder presses. What I generally tend to do is a flat press, an incline press, and a high incline press. I rarely do shoulders alone, but because of the equipment that I had, I had to improvise a little bit. And what I've done is just one top set of shoulder press just to give that sort of that top line uh, a nice little finisher here. So the cable chest flight is personally not my most favorite exercise, but I like using the cuffs uh, just because it allows me to get a nice contraction, allows me to focus massively on my chest rather than sort of worrying about elbows and wrists and so on by holding the D handles. So the cuffs are from 1MR, so if you're interested, I'll link them down below. But the cuffs are incredibly good and they're nice and fat as well and it just allows me to put them in a nice position and really focus on just contracting my chest. That takes my elbow out of it because you'll tend to see people doing this uh, where their elbows are sort of out to the sides and they tend to be really good at hugging without actually bringing the arm across the chest whereas with obviously a cuff and so on you have to because of where the cuff sits in the machine and then next up was dumbbell lateral raises and I like to do them with a chest support because that takes my traps out of it and it stops it from shrugging and I'm trying to focus on getting my arms abducted at a 45 degree angle I'm trying to just lift and really focus on driving the weight away from myself rather than sort of up because when I drive them up I tend to shrug too much whereas that way if I drive them away from my body and I'm thinking I'm trying to scrape my knuckles on the wall it just helps me to keep that motion nice and smooth and ended up finishing with some partials um, just to get the maximum out of my delts because I feel like I need to bring up my delts a little bit more with my back and so on and my chest I'm sort of okay on the major muscle groups but I just haven't been focusing as much on my arms and my delts so this is kind of why, one of the reasons why I tend to do two sets on my uh, delts. And then the last two exercises are triceps, um, so the end of a sort of a, a push day. And I tend to do one where my shoulder is in like a flex position, and then I do one where my shoulder is in a bit of an extended position, and it just changes the bias of which head I'm targeting. And I tend to do quite a lot, so I tend to do six sets on that, uh, so three and three. And the first one is a cuffed pull down. Now, because the cable machine was a little bit short today, it was a little bit more challenging to set up properly and I had to kind of lean. I just didn't quite like it. I was still able to feel it nicely. But again, I'm using 1MR cuffs. They are so, so versatile. And I think to me, they're a must in your gym bag. And then the next one, again, using 1MR cuffs, tends to be a sort of a skull crusher style um, kind of tricep extension. And as you can see here, obviously I'm uh, my shoulders are in a bit of an extended position. So it's more like an overhead extension slash skull crusher kind of thing. But again, because I'm using cables, it really allows me to hit my triceps. So yeah, by the end of this set, my triceps were absolutely fried, obviously from the pressing as well. They were tired from that in the first place. Then I finished off with some bike. So it's 120 beats per minute for me um, because this is my sort of my zone two, my 60 to 70% max heart rate. It's nothing crazy, but it just keeps me moving um, and obviously getting my steps in. And I just finished, I looked at my numbers and I finished on 13,000 steps today. So not too, not too bad at all. And I'll try and update you with more sort of uh, training days that I've got because I've got a pull day coming tomorrow, then I've got legs 
then I've gone up as low as I'm trying to stick to five training days just so I've got two days of recovery because um, there's a lot of traveling for me at the minute uh, back and forth to uh, where my studio is and so on so there's a lot of traveling involved so I have to just try and manage that and not sort of burn out too soon because my diet is quite aggressive it's sort of 2600 calories and bear in mind I'm 107 kilos so that the numbers are quite low and I just have to make sure I stay on top of that but the diet's also not going to be very long it's going to be a four to five week diet it's going to be quite aggressive I'm aiming for about a kilo a week and um, just strip down get back down to like 103 102 something like that and just get a little bit more definition because over the last few weeks I've not really been tracking because there's just been lots of stuff going on hope you've enjoyed this video um, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you've enjoyed it uh, it helps me out massively I don't like begging for subscribes but channels such as myself it just helps out massively just subscribing and getting the views up and so on and ultimately I'm trying to give value back so if you've enjoyed it yeah please help me out so yeah so thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one